Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is macOS Mojave and other security updates. On Monday, Apple released a new version of their macOS operating system called Mojave. And the main part of this message is to mention if you use macOS, you should probably go get Mojave since it fixes a number of security vulnerabilities. While we're talking about Apple, if you missed it, last week Apple also released a number of security updates for all of their operating systems. That includes iOS, tvOS, watchOS, the older version of macOS, as well as some other programs programs like Safari and other Apple products. So if you haven't been to uh, Apple's security update page in a while, definitely go check it out. But if you're an Apple user, definitely consider loading Mojave as soon as possible. As I mentioned, it does fix some security issues. Now all that said, the other part of this story is a security researcher, Patrick Wardell, has already found a zero-day flaw in this new version of Apple OS, Mojave. I won't go into a ton of detail, but the ironic thing is he found this vulnerability in one of the new privacy protection mechanisms of this new version of their operating system. Now it's kind of a local privilege escalation vulnerability that basically could give an attacker access to some things like your contact list or address book or calendar or things like that. So it is a, a significant vulnerability. That said, Wardell has not released any technical details about the flaw yet. Just a video demoing it. He doesn't plan on releasing those details until Apple fixes the issue. So again, go get Mojave if you're interested in getting the latest macOS operating system, but know that there's another vulnerability hiding there. As an aside, I wanted to add another really quick story for any Cisco users out there. If you happen to use the Cisco Video Surveillance Manager appliance, you might be worried about this as Cisco fixed a hard-coded root password. Basically, they had a hidden hard-coded password that could give uh, users full access to your video surveillance manager, which is a pretty big deal. So if you happen to use that Cisco product, you might want to patch out that hard-coded password as soon as possible. One last show aside, for those noticing I haven't posted many videos lately, I've unfortunately had a really busy schedule. That said, over the past few weeks I've actually shot some videos, I just haven't had a chance to edit or post those videos. Now a lot of my videos, like Microsoft Patch Day a few weeks ago, are time sensitive, so it's not really as valuable releasing them late. That said, if you've missed my videos and want to see some of this old stuff, I do plan on posting these videos to my YouTube. YouTube channel in the next few days, but I probably won't post them to Seclicity because they're a little outdated. So long story short, if you want to see all those old videos as well, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Anyways, that's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.